Hey guys, time to chill out with Sub-07 and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fo Fox, what's going on with your ears? Welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. Last time, we made our way here to the Dark Ice Mines where we found the... What the heck are these guys' names again? Uh, Slippy, help me out here. Uh, nope, that's not helpful. Peppy, the Snowhorn Tribe. Unfortunately, they've been imprisoned by the Sharp Claws, so uh, we're here to help them and hopefully free them. We found this machine right here, but kind of missing a few gears. Gotta go find those. This episode, we're gonna hopefully find them. So let's uh, boost up. Do a sweet flip. Now, if you actually talk to Slippy for some advice with this, he actually tells you, hey, maybe use the cannon, Nimrod. So that's what we're gonna try and do. We also see uh, another spirit barrier. So we got more enemies to kill if we wanna open that up. Let's see if we can't use this real fast though. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys around, so we gotta be careful with how we fight them. Or alternatively, nuke them with cannon. Because the cannon is very effective. Always one hit kills them, so just a little bit of oomph, and they're dead. It's a bit hard to time the pro properly, but a little finesse, and you'll figure it out pretty easily. Hold still. Also, I don't know why Tricky's hanging out there, but I guess he felt like it. So, he lives there now. He shall call it Pallet Town. And... Come on. Ah, oh, so close. He's in there. I know he is. You need him to come out. Come out, please. It's the one sharp call. There he is. Is that enough? Yes, it is. And th thanks for taking out all of them. We actually get that place open. Let's uh, roll back over. Another one of these guys. Ugh. Not dealing with you. Instead, we're going to go over here and open this up. As well. We've been meaning to. And we find another gear for our troubles. That's one of the two remaining ones that we need, but we still are missing one. It's a bridge cog. If you find the machine that fits it, you'll be able to open a new route. Yep, just as we uh, figured out, pretty much. But hey, at least we have it. So let's go plug this into the machine. Can we check? Nope. Don't want to fight. Ow. Is there anything in here? Yes, there is. This must be where the other one is. There it is. That's all three of them. No more of you pests to track down, so we just gotta avoid the Sniplucks. I said avoid them. And yes, I have familiarized myself with the enemy names again. I swear, the enemies have weird names in this game if they're not just a regular Sharp Claw. Uh, where am I? This is the wrong way. Hey, this is definitely the wrong way. But we can go this way, at least. To find nothing! This is an important spot, but we don't need to be here just yet. We still got a little bit more to do. So I think it's the other spot that we can roam to. Avoid this ledge. Put the staff away so they stop bugging me. And roll over this way. Here we go. This is better. So I get those cogs ready. And pop them into place. Or not. I guess this, this one goes there first. It was very specific where we wanted to go. Very specific. But hey, they're all here. Which means we can actually pull the switch. And extend the bridge. Which, hey, we did need, so we got it. Now let's just uh, hop down. I believe we're actually going to get another important item right over here. But first, we're going to be tricky for something. Fine. Please dig. Thank you. Another tunnel to crawl through. I'm going to want to stock up on uh, grub tubs for him real fast, though, so he doesn't start complaining. Here you go. Eat up. Perfect. 
Oh, it's this area. Okay, so this is where we start using more of Tricky's flame ability. Some more grub, hub, grub tubs here in case you need them. I don't know why I said grub hub. I haven't been using that a lot lately, so I guess that's why. It's easier than going out for food. Let's see. Uh, what we need to do, we need fire. So link this to Y. Yeah, there's a switch right there. Let's get a better angle for this. Tap it. And we got these spots. We want Tricky to use his flame breath in each of them. Yeah, that's one. Over here now. Yeah, you're on a time limit for this. I don't really know why, but it's pretty easy, so don't worry about that too much. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Unless you're really messing around, you should have plenty of time to do this. So just pop him into the last spot. There you go. And the path opens. What path exactly? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. But hey, it's a new path. Over an abyss. Jesus. Take a leap of faith, though, and you're fine. <laughs> Even Fox is just like, I, I don't know, bud. I really don't. Like, it's weird. When they do mystical things in this game, sometimes they're really cool. Other times, just kind of there. That one's just like, why? why? Why'd you do that? But now we get something actually important to us. We get this. This is the dinosaur horn. If you find a horn pad on the ground, you can use this horn to call for help. When in doubt, call for help. Uh, more grub tubs for you. Here you go. Now that place that we saw just a few minutes ago, that actually is exactly where we need to use this. So uh, I will meet you guys back over there in just a second. All right, back in that spot that we saw just a moment ago, if we equip the dinosaur horn, we can use it here. And what does it do but bring us a snow horn? Where there's a will, there's woolly mammoth. Wait up for what? I haven't even done anything yet, Tricky. All right, thank you for the assistance, sir, but uh, you're gonna need to get on you. Let's go. Because we couldn't be able to braid this snowstorm ourselves. If we tried to go into this, we would just come right back out. So this is for the best. To guide the snowhorn through the blizzard, you will need to be fed alpine roots as you explore. Look on the ground and walk over them to eat. Yeah, pretty much you're on a guided mission. If you don't keep eating, you will eventually run out of health. But it's pretty easy to see where the alpine roots are, so you won't have to worry about getting lost. Really, it's a relatively straight line. And Tricky will run on ahead. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine. We do also still have a tusk attack in case we need to hit something, but so far we kind of have no need for it. Also, yes, the blizzard does still count while we're inside this area, so don't mind it. So don't mind it. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Once we make it past the threshold with those two torches, though, we are safe and sound, so we can just... Come on. A little bit further. And we are clear. Yep, safe and sound. So now we can Tricky. just hop off. Tricky! Your friend will turn up. They usually do. Maybe I can help until he does. Well, we lost him somehow. Great. Yeah, he'll turn up. Probably. Maybe. Who cares? But yeah, just tusk attack. Slam. And we can't actually use him any further. But hey, he helped us get through the barricades. That's nice. Let's just uh, hop off. Thanks for the assistance, Mr. Snowhorn. 
Uh, that's definitely too big for us to lift. Let's smack this to get the rest of our magic back. Get a Puck Puck Egg to heal up some health. And let's head inside. Very fine. Sharp Claw. Two of them that we gotta beat, so might as well just start shooting. <laughs> Why bother fighting them when you can just shoot them, really? Well, that's simple. Once you start fighting, you basically win. That clears up right away. And there is this here to heal up any magic you might have lost. And would you look at that? A jet bike. We're doing this again. Now we're actually going to go through a quick trek through a lot of Dark Ice Mines that we saw earlier. Because we've actually been through this section before. But now they're just giving us an accessible path that we couldn't reach before using this. Kind of have no idea where we are, though, because we don't have any map data for it. And it's a surprisingly big area here, too, which, impress which is kind of impressive to me. You think for an ice mine, it would have more of a, you know, mine area, and this kind of fills that mine section pretty well. But yeah, now we actually do have the map fully displayed, and, uh, oh boy! This is a lot bigger than it looks. Also a lot more dangerous. Really, they should have called this fire and ice mine. Out on fire. So yes, this is actually where they've been keeping most of the snow horns that we were concerned about. Take a second to calm down here. Two of you. I don't think so. I don't want to deal with you, so I'm just going to slap you silly with this stick. Whew! And also smack this, get some scarabs for the heck of it. And we got a snow horn, actually. Can we talk to you? No, we can't. They're kind of busy. Ow. Don't you headbutt me. The punishment for doing that is death. Open up a gate over there. Where is that? It's right there. Find some ice, but we don't have Tricky, so we kind of can't use that right now. Still gotta find him. It makes me wonder, how the heck would he end up in a place like this? Well, if you're listening carefully, you, you probably heard him calling for help. Let's see. Uh, jet booster. this way yeah it's definitely him you can hear over there but where exactly we, we got to find out so crawl through here yes we're here tricky calm your butt can't make that jump so we gotta head this way Pop that to clear the fire out, and we actually get this little trinket. Open it up. We find a key. This is a sharp claw prison cell key. Sounds something like sounds like something that'd be pretty useful to have around here. Can't really do anything else here, so might as well avoid this boulder. And quickly dart back. Also, yeah, touching the sides. Side is hot, so yeah, take damage. Let's just hop back down. Well, the sounds of it is on that side, and, uh, well, we got some jumping to do. Or not. Can I not actually roll there? Thanks, game. Definitely looked like I could make that, but whatever. Guess we're going this way. Just do some quick navigation to avoid the fire. Head to this side. And you find two keyholes. But we did find Tricky. And luckily, we found the key for his cell.
So yeah, that was uh, pretty easy actually to find him. Don't know how they managed to get caught in the two minutes that we left him alone, but uh, that's his fault. By well, the looks of it, we got a bit of a uh, snowhorn actually locked over here. But we're still missing a key for her cell. It's gotta be around here somewhere though, right? Which, yeah, if you remember that ice area over here, just casually run over. And have Tricky use his flame ability. Ow. Right, roll to put yourself out. Almost forgot. Open up this chest. And wouldn't you know it, it's the other key we need. It's almost like this game knew that you needed Tricky to get the other key. Wow! I don't know, just when you're used to taking classes for game design, because I did major in game design in college, you, you can tell some things are pretty obvious. And this is definitely a more beginner-oriented adventure game, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's just a bit more obvious to tell. But yeah, let's just head back across here real fast. And open up this cell right here. Gold key for you. That's Prince Tricky, of course, but who are you? Who are you? I am Fox. Well, I was asking who you are. This is the Crown Prince of the Earthwalkers. We've been sent by the Snowhorn Gatekeeper to find the Spellstone. Do you know where it's hidden? My name is Belina Tay. That's not what the subtitle the said. Who is my father? Did he send you to rescue me? Uh, I'm sorry, Belina, but he feels you have betrayed the beliefs of the gatekeepers. We were only sent to find the spellstone. The old fool. I had to save the tribe. If it wasn't for my father being a gatekeeper, none of this would have happened in the first place. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fox, move. Well, then. I suppose that's one way to do it. <laughs> He's just like, well, then, that just happened. I love Fox's reaction to things. Belina, are you there? Listen carefully. Find your way to the bottom of the mine. I'll meet you there. Bottom of the mine, huh? Well, there's this spot right here we can dig into. Which, well, if it wasn't obvious, leads us further down into the mine. Anyway, surprisingly less fiery section, actually. A lot icier. In fact, unfortunately, ice physics. Oh, God. They're not too bad in this area, but if you don't like ice physics, you're not going to like them here. we got to switch that we, we want to reach over there, but we have no way to easily reach it. Actually, can we jump to it? No, we can't. It's just a little bit lipped, so we can't reach it. Also, the water is freezing, so try not to stay in it too long. But let's use that rocket booster after we deal with the snap lag. I know you're here. Come out. There you are. <sighs> the dang, dang snap lacks. But hey, it's dealt with. So yes, pull out your staff booster and launch. Oh God, more bloops. No, I'm not dealing with you. Wait a minute. Oh, no. We were actually uh, a bit early. If I remember correctly, there's actually something we've got to do first. Let's jump down and hurt ourselves. Break our knees real fast, as, as you do. As any good adventurer will. Aim for these. Because they are surprisingly big once you uh, knock down these stalactites. They somehow expanded to larger stalactites, which is convenient, I suppose. 
And you can flip this switch. Lowering that gate up there and actually letting the ice flow free. Which gives you some platforms to use. Convenient. Don't really have a way to reach that right now because that's a bit too far of a jump. But we can still make this a bit of an easy trek. You're back already? Just die. Ugh. Nerve of some snaplax. But yeah, now that we're actually able to progress through this part, slap this. And you're going to be doing some ice traversal, so be careful. You don't have much room for error. You fall. Try to get back on the ice. You can't. So just head back over here. And by back over there, I mean you actually just fucked up. You have to go down. This is a part you could actually, like, feasibly die on because it's pretty easy to do so. I'm gonna hopefully not, but I cannot guarantee it because the ice is finicky in this area. Let's try this again. You gotta be kidding me. You already respawned. Get out of here. Get back on. Okay, that's better. But yeah, you need to get over to this side before you make it to here. Otherwise, you're, you're in trouble. Make it over here, though. And you'll find a block of ice that you can actually use to your advantage. If you push it down over here, you actually make yourself a path you can use to get through. And we get another egg that we can use, which is always convenient. Let's just hop across to be safe, but also refill on magic because the yellow plants give the most. I believe outside of blue, I could be wrong on that, but it's it's been a while since I've compared. Anyways, climb up. And now we head a bit further down, back into the more molten areas of Dark Eyes Mines. Or at least, they would appear so. Turns out they're just campfires from Shark Claw. Out of here. Get out of here. Again, the Shark Claw really aren't much to worry about, especially once we get a certain other item that's basically going to take care of any combat we could ever have to worry about. We're still a little bit off from getting that item, but once we do, oh my god, they do not stand a chance. But, we got another conveyor belt. Let's do some fire walking. This is pretty easy, just keep away from the fire, of course. Go when it's safe. Nice roll to make it look fancy. Oh god, ow. Get burned for our troubles because we tried to look fancy. Don't need Tricky right now. And just dart through. There we go. And even further down. I realize this place is pretty dang big. It hasn't been easy. Now where is that spell stone? My father didn't say exactly where it was, but he knew that General Scales had hidden it somewhere close. Look carefully. I'm sure you and your little friend can find it before they do. Time is short. You must find the spell stone. And why aren't you helping, miss? You're the daughter of the gatekeeper. You think you'd help a little bit. I mean, they did clear the path for us, I suppose, but still. Uh, is this... Oh, no, this is the gate that she came from, which is somehow blocked off now, I guess more tackling cause another uh, quake or cave-in. But yeah, we've actually made a fair amount of progress into Dark Ice Mines, but we still have quite a bit more to go actually. If you come out here, there is a lot to this area. Like a surprisingly large amount. So I think we're going to continue this next time. Next time, let's play Star Fox Adventure. Adventures, not Adventures, not a singular. We will be continuing our trek through Dark Ice Mines and hopefully finding that Spellstone for God's sake, because... We need that thing. The faster, the better. But until next time, ice out.